is I had an incredibly wonderful boss, my last job in New York, uh, who was t for 22 years the president of the Carnegie Corporation, which is the largest of the Carnegie philanthropies. Mm. And Alan always said that, that this should, that retirement should be seen as the third opportunity, that you have the beginnings and the learnings, and then you have your professed career, uh, and then you have the opportunity to blossom and do something entirely else in the third period of your life, uh, which made it sound like an adventure and not something you were punished by having to leave your job. Um, the second one was having a friend come and visit and we were catching up and he said his brother had finally retired and he died one year after he retired. Whoa. And he said, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to retire with plenty of time to have that next period of my life. And it got my husband and me talking about what did we want to do when we retired? Mm -hmm. uh, and when could we do that? Did you have any nervousness around both retiring and coming from such a different place to the other side of the country? Actually, no. Um, and part of the reason is wherever I found myself, I've always found plenty to occupy me. Now, I didn't have a job and I wasn't looking for a job. Mm -hmm. um, but I had managed volunteers for a good piece of my life and knew just what you could do if you were a volunteer. And there's plenty of opportunity for that here in Talbot County. I think the, the things that got shoved aside when a busy job preoccupied you no longer had to be shoved aside. Um, not the least of which is my active participation at the Y uh, with you in class and tap dancing, which is of a all great things. gift. <laughs> so what do you do for, your in, for intellectual stimulation? I read a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I am and, and have always been an avid fiction consumer, um, liking a lot period fiction. Um, which reflects in my television tastes, too. We okay. all celebrated Downton Abbey together. Yes, every, we did. Every version of it. Uh, and now Victoria. Mm -hmm. and it's, which, which is wonderful because we can discuss it in class. There's a preponderance of us who do. That's right. Uh, yeah. There are some vocal critics, but <laughs> most of us do. And watch some TV. And, uh, and then I always have conversations with my kids, which end up being... Uh, it's lovely when they get to that age where they're just fabulously in interesting, mature adults. And anything surprise you about retirement? Oh, I guess two things. Mm. One is how quickly you can enjoy the, the relaxing aspect of it. The fact that you don't have to do a whole sequence of things, but can sit and read a book for a whole day and not yeah. do anything else if you choose to. Um, that's the happy part. The sad part is the aging part. Mm. And it, it is, it's frustrating, it's um, certainly the loss of my husband was high impact in that regard, but it, even all my friends and me uh, have problems, things happen, and you know it's a natural thing, um, and that it isn't anything you caused, uh, yeah. it's simply accumulated years, and we all got to be this way. <laughs> Um, so it's good to have a community of people who are like that, mm -hmm. that you can share with, that yeah. you can share the aches and you can share the successes. But in terms of working out, you do a fair bit. You do aerobic activity in, in our class mm -hmm. and, the, and with tapping. Yes, and then stability, it's probably the most valuable mm. thing is the stability work that we do because that's the thing that happens to you as you age is that you become less stable. You know, <laughs> I, I was telling a, a classmate of mine from a long time ago um, about my test to make sure I can put my pants on <laughs> with standing up and without falling over. <laughs> and you would never think about that when you're 40 or 50 or when you reach 70, you start thinking about things like that. I think all of our, our friends, the friends that you and I share, 
have incredible sets of occupations, some quite different from others. I mean, we have painters and we have singers and we have actors and we have tap dancers. Um, and that's nice. It adds some spark and variety in getting to know these people and know the range of talents that exist. Um, often way outside all of our professions. We're addressing the other side of our brain. We're exercising our minds as well as our bodies. And, and I think that's healthy. I, th I think it makes us all happier, better people. Thank you.